Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to look at some questions in chemistry and their solution. So the question, the first question that we are going to look at today is one, the fascial free zone of oxygen. The fascial free zone of oxygen in a sample of air is 452 millimeter mercury. And the critical freezer is 780 millimeter mercury. Then what is the mole fraction? Option A is 0 0.230. Option B, 0 0.579. Option C, 2.030. And option D, 5.70. So now, what is the answer to these questions? So we are going to look at the solution. So let's actually drive the data and bring the data. So these are we have a fascial pressure of oxygen. You can now see P of oxygen. That this reflects the fascial pressure of oxygen is equal to uh, 452 of millimeter mercury. And then we have a total pressure. We can now see P total. Is equal to 780 millimeter per cubic. And then what is the mole fraction? So the mole fraction is on not, which is equal to the S. So how do we do this calculation? So remember, actually, we have what you call the delta law of partial ratio, which said that the total ratio or the to yeah the total ratio of uh, a gas is the sum of the individual, or is the sum of the Partial free of individual gases. I do it now a container like this. And inside a container, you have different gas. Let's see, we have gas A, gas B, gas C, and gas D. So if you want to get the total free of this gas, we can apply this formula. That is the P total. That is the total free of the gases is equal to the sum of the fascia pressure of the individual. So now it's going to be the fascia pressure of A plus the fascia pressure of B plus the fascia pressure of C plus the fascia pressure of D. So if you want to calculate the fascia pressure of this uh, gases, so you have to take the individual gases and sum them together. That is what we did here. So we also have a way of calculating the fascial so the mole fraction. What is the mole fraction? There are different formulas that can be used in calculating mole fraction. The mole fraction can be calculated as the fascial pressure of the gas divided by the total pressure. So this is the form e, like this is this we want to get the uh, mole fraction of e. So to get the one fraction of A is now going to be the fascial free of A divided by the total pressure. And at the same time, it can be uh, the fascial free of A, which can mean you can calculate it in terms of the number of moles. It can be number of moles of A divided by total number of moles. And you can also calculate the fascial or the one fraction as the volume of Fashion volume of gas E divided by the total volume. So these are the three formulas that you can use to calculate the mole fraction of a gases. So now let's look at the question here very clearly. The, uh, of course, we have what, what we want to calculate is the mole fraction. And of course, we are keeping the fascial ratio of oxygen and then the total pressure. So it means that in the question, we are calculating the mole fraction of oxygen. So to calculate the mole fraction of oxygen, now we have like this formula. So now the partial ratio of oxygen is equal to the P total. And of course, from the question, we have the partial ratio of oxygen at 452. So we now have 452 millimeter mercury divided by the total fridge, which is 780. So we have 780 millimeter mercury 
this one is also in milli meter micro. So therefore, what would be the answer? Of course, the milli meter micro here will cancel the milli meter micro here. So if we now take this and divide it by this, it is going to give us zero point five seven nine. So therefore, the answer to this question is the answer to this question is option B. So option B is the answer. So we have option B here as the answer to the question. So thank you.